Here's the solar tracker in action. If I point it one way, see that little cog goes one direction. If I swing it round, see it goes the other. And the reason is that those two little solar panels are wired back to back. You can see it's white to black, black to white. And then the motor's connected across them. That's that wire there, the red wire running down. And uh, when the sun's out, you can see it's quite accurate because I go a little bit that way, it goes that way. Go a little bit that way, it goes that way. So it doesn't take a lot of movement to set it running doesn't take a lot of movement to set it running so let's get the sun on it basically it's a series of gears made of Fisher Technic Google Fisher Technic if you don't know what Fisher Technic's all about now the solar panel on the front The solar panel on the front is driving another motor which just turns that wheel to demonstrate that it's doing things. But the real business of interest is that one there. I'll, un un I'll unplug that other motor again because it's not relevant. That's just something for the solar panel to power. But there's the actual mechanism. And it is, it's just two solar panels set into a V-shape with a fence between them that should be a bit taller that red fence because that kind of helps cast a shadow on the panel that's turning out the sun and uh, helps make the process more efficient now, this is the first sunny day we've had since I made it and uh, sure enough when I came in today I found that it had come to life turned around and was pointing at the sun and if a panel is slightly off it is still exposed to the sun. It's only when it goes quite significantly off that the amount of sunlight coming at an angle reduce, significantly reduces the efficiency. So like that, slightly off one way or the other has actually very little difference on output. And uh, I suppose you could actually offset those mirrored, those little thing that top slightly to compensate for the fact that it tends to be dragging one direction. And in fact, I'm actually gonna try something. It's a bit cloudy, but I'm going to set it going. There it goes. It's now coming round, and it's winding itself into the sun. And as it does so, the motor is slowing down, and it's just going to stop now as it comes into as it swings itself into alignment. Now it's, uh, the sun is moving through the sky. Um, it's a bit mottly cloudy up there. That, that, that's, that's what the sun is having to shine through. Now uh, I'm gonna see if it moves again during the, uh, I'm gonna sit here for 10 minutes like watching a wildlife program. Let's see if it moves again. Oh, that's an electric bicycle just gone past. But yeah, um, it's quite funny having one of these. I've made a tracker before, a small one, and I had it on a, a narrow boat. And as the boat was wending its way around the canal, the tracker was whizzing backwards and forwards, trying to keep the pan solar panel aimed at the sun. It was rather fun. Uh, this is just a little uh, ultra simple project. Um, Yeah, um, what should we talk about while we're watching this thing? I'll try not to get around the front of it and uh, have any effect on the sunlight falling on it. But as the sun is going through the sky, this will have to uh, start up again and chase after it. Now, at the moment, I'm using the two small, so small solar panels to directly drive a motor which swings the main solar panel. That little motor could just as soon operate on switches so that uh, the switches then switch a bigger motor driven off the main circuit that knocks the uh, panel around very occasionally. Um, or we could just use lots and lots and lots of gears. 
but remember when the sun comes up next morning it's got the transit all the way back again so you don't want the transit time to be much above 15 minutes and if the sun goes down here and comes up over there it's going to be shining on the back of one of the panels which means you might want another panel more panels wired onto the uh, that side to catch the sunrise you know the thing is turned right around so when the sun rises next morning it hits the back of the uh, tracker you might want another small solar panel on the back connected to the panel of transits towards the morning sun to basically wind the whole thing right round so that you get the next morning sunrise um, as you can see they're not big solar panels they're quite cheap and I've got four four minutes left before the camera times out and what else can I talk about while I'm waiting for this thing to do its thing I've never seen it do this before this is the first time um, it's made of Fisher Technic although that's a motor I got off a cheap solar panel kit you know solar motor kit on eBay um, and I've literally just glued it onto the end of that gearbox and put a worm off a of Fisher Technic motor onto it I had that worm gear spare that screw gear because I actually levered one off a proper Fisher Technic motor so that I could put a normal Fisher Technic cog on said motor to drive my uh, six speed plus reverse gearbox that's the subject of another video um, I see the sun's come out a bit but it hasn't oh there it is it's off again look at that it's decided it's going to do some more tracking there we go and the gearing is such you can hardly see the thing move but uh, in fact the wind is rocking it about very slightly but yeah it just adjusted itself entirely by itself it's just had a little tweak just now yeah, I wonder if it'll do it again in a minute we keep on nattering so it was about three minutes since it last moved if I guess roughly um, another three minutes it should move again and uh, that's if the sun doesn't go in we've been quite lucky actually because it's mottled cloud but yeah we've uh, yeah, it's made of Fisher Technic brilliant stuff they do computer control modules and all sorts of things this is 1970s Fisher Technic so it's uh, red and grey which I prefer Modern Fisher Technic is is yellow, black, and red. <laughs> Sorry, excuse me. Um, there's plenty of this stuff on eBay. I've got heaps of it from childhood. I've been adding to the collection uh, since, and of course, my own son now is into it, which helps. And uh, yeah, so uh, those solar panels are glued onto Fisher Technic tiles, little tiles. Um, they're normally little red tiles that go over the ends of the blocks just to finish them off. Well, I've sacrificed a couple to act as solar panel mounting so I can have unclippable solar panels. Um, as you say, the big solar panel is almost irrelevant. It's just there to demonstrate keeping it aimed at the sun. And uh, yes, it is keeping it aimed at the sun very nicely. And... I've got a couple of model helicopters that fly off those little batteries. I might actually rig it up so it actually charges one of the model helicopters just for something for it to do. Um, but yeah, this is it. This is a... Uh, see those wires there? I've just wedged the wires into a block to stop them being ripped out of the motor by mistake. You can see underneath where I've joined them all onto this lead which then joins on up there. There we go, it's off again. And it's just started running again there. It's just going to wind itself around a little bit more now and there it's going to go a little bit further so yeah the sun is creeping round and the machine is creeping round after it yeah it's great I love stuff like this I love machines that are automatic machines that are sort of intelligent um, and uh, we're going to run out of video so if I move it offline deliberately swing it out some get a good look at the mechanism working there it is, whirring away. Slowly winching itself around. It's gonna, camera's going to time out now in 10 minutes, so here we go. But yeah, um, there's my solar tracker. Uh, here it is, one solar tracker.